This is a film of a time lock from the Chicago Time Lock Company. It is called the GEM model and it dates from about 1885-1886. It is mounted to a combination lock by James Sargent that dates from around 1865, so that's about 20 years earlier. And this lock has been um, altered at some point in time to accept the time lock because this time lock is obviously 20 years later than when this lock was made. This film is going to be basically mostly about the combination lock rather than the time lock because I have an er other uh, another film of the gem model time lock from another example in my collection and the combination lock that we're seeing here is a fairly significant development in the uh, bank uh, industry for combination locks and therefore also for the uh, associated time locks now what I'm going to do is just very quickly give an overview of the lock focusing now on the James Sargent number two combination lock. Uh, this lock contained a very important innovation and that was this part here which is called the roller bolt. And what that did was separate from the fence and the tumblers any interaction between the bolt work and this combination lock here and the way it did that was through this action here right now the lock is unlocked so the bolt work could slide in like so and then allow the combination uh, and and uh, thus open the vault now when the lock was when the safe was locked this would roll down which is happening because I am moving this you can see with my hand right now it's unlocked and then if you want to lock the safe you, sh you you shut the door the bolt is then retracted and then this rolls downward now what that does is it blocks the bolt work and that prevents the safe from being opened. A common picking technique is when before the uh, adaptation of the roller bolt the uh, slide bolt would be here and it would if you pressured if you tried to pressure the bolt works backwards through the external uh, bolt retraction system you could pressure the mechanism to push the fence down next to these um, tumblers here and be able to feel very carefully where the opening gates were on these particular tumblers and in fact uh, James Sargent had invented something called the micrometer which was a device that did exactly that so the second very important advance that he did uh, on his number one lock and is carried through to the number two lock is this part right here which is a horseshoe magnet what that horseshoe magnet does is it holds the fence which is this aloft and I move this back just a hair and this then can be pulled upward and it holds the fence dangling so that even if somebody could accomplish a way to feel 
for the uh, manipulation of the of the fence next to the tumblers that could never happen because this would be held aloft by this magnet here and that was a much more important device when you had didn't have the roller bolt and you'd have the regular slide bolt being able to be pushed against the tumblers in this design it's not as important because you can't work backward through the bolt work to try and force the fence up against these tumblers. But even so, uh, someone who was very deft at uh, lock picking could feel for this fence if it were touching these, these tumblers through uh, being able to feel it out here on the dial itself. Now what I'll do is I'll turn this up and you will now see this cam is moving to clockwise and as this drops down you see now this has been caught by the magnet and this is now held up and if you push it just a little bit down you can see it's just barely able to touch this if you pull it you can pull it just a little bit down but this is held see and then when it's ready to lock see it's again it pulls it just up a little bit and it's locked up against this and therefore the fence is now held above the tumblers and there is no way that you can try to pick this lock uh, through forcing the the uh, fence up against the wheel pack and then feeling for where the gates are to allow you to pick this lock and here again is a demonstration of how this is captured by the magnet you can even hear it and now I'm at the point where the correct combination has been dialed in and the final uh, sequence of events is to unlock the roller bolt so here you have the fence is still raised completely captured by the magnet and by the way this little lever here is all the way retracted because the time lock right now is at at zero and so you dial this in now because this magnet is being raised the fence has been allowed to drop away it's no longer captured and since the gates are all lined up the fence has now dropped and is secured into the gates and as this is rotated now it is connected to the bolt and the bolt is also now rotated counterclockwise allowing the safe bolt work to come in to where the roller bolt dog has now been released And now I'm going to demonstrate the, how the time lock interacts with the sergeant number two combination lock. Right now the time lock is set for about 10 hours and so it is on guard which means that uh, you cannot open the safe even with the correct combination. And the way that's demonstrated is through this little lever here. This lever has a hook on it and this hook is directly underneath the fence right now if it were off guard this time lock would move this 
lever here to the left like so and the hook would then be released from the fence. So if somebody has the correct combination dialed in they turn this you can see now as this magnet is raised away from the plate that holds the fence normally this would drop into the aligned gates and allow the safe to be opened but this is holding it and in fact we can release this and in fact now the fence has dropped and you can see clearly here is the hook so if we reverse this a little bit you can actually make this hook up again that's not normally how this would work see it draws the hook back and it now has captured the fence so again these this is held back because of the time lock and you cannot open the safe the time lock is now at zero and so it is off guard and you can see that this hook has been pushed all the way to the right so again now you start to dial in the combination and the fence drops into the aligned gates and you now are able to rotate the roller bolt which dogs the bolt work and now this is allowed to allows the safe to be opened now we have a time lock by Sargent and Greenleaf their model number two this combination lock by James Sargent was constructed two years before his partnership with Colonel Halbert Greenleaf which was in 1867 and this time lock the model number two was the first commercially successful time lock to be introduced uh, this particular one is one of the very first it has a serial number of 49 and you will note the similarity of the roller bolt design here and here both serve the same function and that is to dog the bolt work so that the safe can be kept closed until the correct combination is dialed in here and later when this time lock was added that also the time lock would be off guard here we have the same situation the time lock right now is oh maybe on for about an hour so after you would have wound this up to the number of hours that you wanted the safe to be closed you would then just simply tilt this upward and this drop lever here would dog this roller bolt now the bolt work cannot go in to this recess so the safe cannot be opened even when it is dialed in with the correct combination which would have been on a different piece of equipment located either above or below there is even a drawing that shows this time lock in conjunction with the number two sergeant uh, time lock and the two roller bolts are actually aligned one on top of each other with 
a single bar that then has the bolt work which would then go into both of these simultaneously to open the vault. So when the time lock winds all the way to zero in this case here this would be moved to the left and by gravity the bolt is allowed to rotate and no longer will dog the bolt work that can then come in and unlock the lock. So here again we have both of the roller bolts in the dogged position. Bolt work cannot move in. Bolt work cannot move in. For the combination lock the correct combination is dialed in, the time lock is off guard, this rotates counterclockwise, and the safe can now be opened. In this case, we have the time locks reach zero. Gravity does its thing and allows the uh, roller bolt to again also rotate counterclockwise and again with the correct combination dialed in through a separate combination lock, the safe can now be opened. This roller bolt design was a very significant invention of Sergeant and Greenleaf's, in fact probably their most significant, and had been carried through in one form or another evolving then into the cello bolt and used all the way up uh, in their time locks up to the Great Depression.